welcome back to our channel this is Katie Charlie and today I have a special video guys uh, planned for you uh, it's going to be a tag that my friend Susie from Ruby Rose Reborns here on YouTube and on Instagram created a few weeks ago I'm horrendously late making this tag but I really I, I already made one video two weeks ago and I lost that video uh, it got compromised uh, during the editing so I'm redoing this video and I thought okay you know what it's going to be a perfect video for a new year start uh, so all of my new viewers and new subscribers who are not uh, familiar with my whole complete collection so they can see um, uh, my babies and Susie's tag is called who is in your Laurel e. Eagles collection and I don't have to remind you that I'm Laura Lee Eagles fan. I am her. I joking, jokingly say that I'm her groupie. I love, love, love Laura Lee Eagles babies. And it's not out of snobbery. It's not out of uh, trying to prove something. Uh, I really, really love her scalps, guys. And I have always said that even uh, from the very first uh, time that I started my channel. I was completely drawn, uh, and I always am completely drawn to her new sculpt. Uh, well, not not uh, not that I cannot live with them, but I really really love them. And uh, so, uh, I was deciding how to do this video, guys. Actually, if I should go by size, from the smallest baby to the biggest baby, or from the oldest baby to the newest additions, and I decided to go that way. So I'll start with Ella. Uh, Ella, uh, this baby is actually, guys, um, very, very special baby. Most of you know that. She is the baby that started it all. She is an Esme, a long sold out limited edition by Laura Lee Eagles, baby Esme. She is my second version. Uh, I had one baby Esme before her. And this is my second baby. As me and she's actually this sculpt is the sculpt that started it all I will put a uh, little Ella's excuse me little Ella story somewhere here there should be an info card so just click on it ladies for uh, all of you who are new I don't want to repeat myself for my older viewers who know the story but a uh, short story um, I'm just going to say that this baby, when I discovered Reborns, I went, I googled up Reborns and Reborn as me sculpt came up and I fell in love with as me. So I went and I typed as me to search and this baby came up. She was brand new. Her mommy posted her on Facebook and I, uh, I was smitten that by this baby and by the biggest serendipity, like little miracle uh, <laughs> situation, I got uh, to adopt her and I love 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 this baby uh, she is a newborn size she is officially 19 inches she is a perfect newborn and she is my baby girl she's my precious possession she is just uh, amazing why I don't feature her a lot on my channel is she needs a little bit of a touch-up on her mohair on the back of her head she has some breakage so I try to decide uh, which kind of hair I want because I'm really afraid to send her off guys. I, I really like the way uh, that Cynthia, uh, Cynthia Nance is her artist, uh, the way she did her hair is really like baby sparse, newborn sparse rooting and the mohair is gorgeous. You can style it straight, you can style it with a curl, but I'm really really afraid um, because Cynthia cannot remember what kind of mohair this is and uh, I just you know how I am picky about my hair and just when you have a really rare scalp in your possession you you know you don't want to fiddle with it and you don't want to ruin it I've heard of many many stories when ladies send her their babies off for touch-ups or rerouting and the bond was lost or the baby was messed up I just I don't know so uh, I keep Ella for the most of the time she is wrapped and uh, in her little basket and covered. But yeah, Ella is still here. She's my baby girl and she's not going anywhere. And this is my very first uh, 
Loralee Eagles baby in my collection. Okay guys, I'm back here, or we are back here, with baby Catherine. I decided to feature baby Catherine as next. Uh, she is another of my <laughs> pride and joy babies in my collection. She is a super rare, sold out, uh, limited edition. She's a Quinlan by Laura Lee Eagles, baby Quinlan, and her hair is slightly wet here. I was trying to fix it and the brush was wet, like a lot, so yeah, but she, here's my cat, she is really, this baby has my heart. I have been looking for this baby for years, uh, since, I'm going to tell you, well, my first love was Asmi, and then uh, I was digging, you know, when I uh, started collecting and I was around for a few months and you know how, how it is, you start discovering all uh, the rules and the way you collect the sculptors, the sculpts, editions. So I pretty much determined that I love, love, love Laura Lee Eagles babies. So I was looking at her sculpts and of course she was already sold out when I started in 2016. I fell in love with her and I have been looking for her since then and uh, last year I miracle happened once again and my artist told me, my favorite artist told me that she had a blanket and this baby has been actually created for me. She has been a custom, so she's brand new and um, she is my, she has my namesake because I just love this baby, guys. I'm completely smitten by this baby and she opened the whole new door for me in uh, the means of me liking sleeping babies. She has been the very first sleeper after a very, very long time. And I thought that I was not really bonding with sleepers, but I I am I love, love, love this baby girl. And once again, uh, she is Queenlin by Laurel Eagles. She is 20 inches, it says on websites. So or, or officially she's 20 inches, she is a chubby newborn or one month, I think one month in European sizing is the best size for Quinlan. And yeah, she is my baby girl, Catherine. So that's my second Laura Lee Eagles baby. Okay, and here we are. I decided to feature these two little peanuts together guys because these are my special emotional purchases uh, this is my Atticus my little Philip and my Isabel my little birdie and both of these babies were not planned for all of you who have been following me you know how uh, OCD -ish I am with my collection and these two babies these two sculpts were not planned to be added into my collection at the time when I got them. Now, I'm not saying that I didn't want them, I wanted them in my collection, but not at the time when I was purchasing these babies, uh, because I had another babies either in making or I just uh, didn't know if I'll bond with this size because they're both little tiny. So anyways, I love these babies. Guys, these are, as I uh, call them, my emotional purchases. I love, love, love Atticus and I love baby birdie sculpt. But originally or initially, I was really, really scared of them being really small. Um, and Atticus, guys, he's teeny tiny. So look how small she is compared to Atticus. Atticus is supposed to be 17 inches. He's uh, not 17 inches. He's about... 17 and three quarters, almost 18. And she is really teeny tiny. She's a really real preemie. He's supposed to be like a bigger preemie or newborn. And look how he looks actually chubby compared to Birdie. And he's not chubby whatsoever. I don't think he's chubby. I think Quinlan is chubby or Esme is chubby or Saskia's little legs are chubby or Ramsey. He's completely a chubster, but this baby, he's, he's wearing tiny baby up to five pounds. That's uh, the size that fits him the best, that fits Atticus. And <laughs> the little one, look at her, those little chicken legs. But 
but they are so, so sweet together. And I found these two little rompers and I thought how perfe perfect and how fitting it would be to feature these together since they both have been purchased before Christmas. This baby, um, my Philip, my Atticus uh, has been purchased last year before not last year <laughs> okay it's 2018 so a year before that on december 2017 before christmas and my little isabel she is one of my newest additions and she has been purchased uh on december 2018 so and they are so teeny tiny they're the smallest babies in my nursery and i thought okay uh, they're not exactly twins, but I'm going to feature them together because I think they're so cute. I can't even. And uh, he has been created by um, prototype master artist Daria Medulianova. And Isabel has been created by award-winning, amazing Paula Labara Faria. Um, both artists are on social media. They are on Facebook. And I love, love, love these two babies. So that's my number three and number four uh, baby uh, from Laura Lee Eagles. And guys, I'm not done, okay? So hold on. Okay, guys, I just thought, uh, don't laugh. I just thought that since we are doing uh, who is in our collection, I thought that I would include my blank kits because I receive, and Charlie is not uh, by Laura Lee Eagles, Charlie is my baby boy <laughs> just kidding guys here but anyways i thought that i would include my blankets that i received directly from laura she has been so 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 kind uh and uh we have who we, who we have here that's a baby serenity and baby miracle uh and look at the sculpting that's what i'm talking about like these babies First of all, you don't you don't have to um, magnetize the pacifier on these scalps. I love when they have like an open mouth at least slightly. Most of my babies actually have this feature, and I don't have to magnetize most of my pacifiers. Only I think Baby Birdie and Ramsey. All the rest, including my Saskia, they have like open mouth. So this is Baby Miracle. This baby, I love. And I will have this baby definitely done this year. So that's my baby miracle. And here is baby serenity. I'm not rushing with uh, this scalp because I didn't, I can't even believe that I have these two scalps guys, especially miracle. I can't believe how uh, sweet Laura is that she sent me these two little ones of course i have the whole kit i just brought hats i don't want to unpack them and i i don't want to touch uh vinyl uh, with my hands all too much i'm going to pack them and wrap them and pack them and put them away until i decide uh, to send them off to the artist but i just thought that i would share number five and number six in my collection now one more baby is coming in the end of february that will be my number seven by Laura Lee Eagles. I can't wait for that baby. I'm super duper excited. So please stick around ladies. But again, this tag has been created by uh, Susie by Ruby Rose Reborns. I'm going to tag her channel down below in my description. Thank you Susie for creating it. Uh, you gave all of us uh, Laura Lee Eagles uh, owners opportunity to brag and <laughs> show our babies on camera. So that was fun. Hopefully you enjoyed, ladies and gentlemen. I want to wish you a wonderful rest of the Monday, wonder, wonderful and successful start of the next week. And I will talk to you tomorrow because we have some topics, guys. And also on Wednesday, we have that giveaway drawing. So thank you again for watching and see you in our next video. Bye.